See the green fence up here? This is in Marietta here. Nice little shopping center. I'm on the back side of a shopping center here. Starting to fill up. Uh, it's a brand new shopping center. Looks like they're starting to fill up with some karate and some other type massage place, nail place here. So it looks like there's going to be quite a bit of um, stores there. But in this lot here, I stopped here because I recognize this lot here. I found this. I found this project on uh, on Reed as, as to bid, and the crazy part about this project here is pretty big. I mean, that fence goes all the way around here, right? Goes all the way around. So, uh, but I found this project on Reed, and what caught my eye was this project uh, was under a company by the name of Katerra. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, I used to work for Katerra. I used to do the apartments, okay? Uh, we got out of doing that. We're not doing the apartments anymore. Now you know I'm focused on concrete, not so much the building and interior work, right? But anyway, so that company was Katerra. So the name on this particular project that I found on Reed was Katerra. Katerra was this as the architect, uh, the structural engineer, and a few other <clears throat> uh, uh, places on there on constructing these plans for this project. Then it had a selected general contractor for this job too as well. And the selected general contractor, I think was Colorado West or something like that. And I contacted them and said, hey, are you guys looking for any uh, you know, uh, structural concrete estimators to bid on this project? And he gave me the backstory on this whole project that there was so many issues with the plans, contradicting themselves on all sorts of stuff. It was supposed to start before COVID, got delayed. After delay, they kept sending it out to bid because there was so much time, um, you know, going back for revisions and revisions that they kept getting new numbers to show Katerra and the owner that, hey, our number is not the same. We sent it back out to bid. It's been seven months, it's been three months, it's been so, 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 so. So when I caught that, that, that project out, it was already been sent out to bid three times, right? Not just revisions to plans, but it got sent back out to bid three times. That means that the first group of contractors are screwed because they put their time and effort into this project and now they're looking for new subs. Second round, those subs are screwed because now they're on the third round, right? He says, hey, you can submit a bid. And I think it was like two days to the bid was due. So I said, you know what? Nah, I'm good. There's quite a bit in there. I don't want to rush it. I'll pass on it. I said, hey, but I'll stay in touch. Now I drive past this, this bad boy and it has a fence around it. And if you look over there, let me see. You can't see it here. But uh, let's see if I can turn it around here. Looks like, where is it at? Oh, there's some equipment out there. Right? So there's some equipment out there. So something's going to be going on. Right? So I'm like, wow. Man, I didn't think the lot was this big. You know, I did see the plans. Maybe I'll look them back up and find out where they're at with it since they're starting to move forward with it. And I'll reach out to him just to see if he wants a new bid. Now, the jacked up part about that is that on this type of work, this commercial type work, when there's no when there's no signed contracts, let's say there's no actual subs have signed contracts. There's no general contractors that have signed contracts with the architect or the owner, right? Or the construction manager, whoever's in place. Then a lot of times that they are just looking for the best price up until the last moment. So I can actually go into this project call the general if they have been if they are if they have signed a contract call the general and say hey are you looking for a structural concrete guy he says yeah send us a number and i can send a number if i'm lower than the guy that they were considering they'll actually put me in their place but i won't have it until i get a signed contract because someone else can give them a lower bid and i'm out of the loop on that so that's how that game works. As long as you don't have a signed contract, they can always get a lower bid or find someone else that wants to bid on it. We're going to keep an eye on this project here. It's supposed to be a big apartment building uh, designed by Katerra. Now, Katerra, let me give you a little background here. 
Gutierre is a company that brings technology into the construction industry. They are designing apartment or designing materials that could be used in apartment remodeling and apartment building. So that way, when those products need to be replaced, guess who you go back to for the new products? Qatar, right? The walls, the, the panels, the sinks, the faucets, the water lines, the plumbing, the fixtures, the mirrors. I mean, from root to two, they're supplying everything that you need to build this, well, I believe so. They're supplying everything you need to build this apartment. Okay. So there's two big players in that game, Katera and V. V is up north, uh, which is also doing a kind of like a Lego building where they build the walls with everything inside the walls in the factory and then bring it to a job site and put together like Lego pieces, right? All they need is the foundation. Foundation has to be on point then they could just bring out these walls and you just connect A to B, B to C, C to D, E to F, E to G, whatever, whatever, A to A, A, A to B, 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 B to C, C, right? And then you build these things like Lego, Lego pieces. Well, Katera is in alliance to uh, not quite that model, but another model to where they're designing the products a lot faster, a lot cheaper, uh, uh, and ready to use probably a lot quicker and to build this, this, this apartment building. So there's some big players that's in this industry here that you probably, you guys probably need to research and get on with. And Katera's everywhere. Okay, V, I don't know if they're everywhere. I think they're just in uh, up north or central California, but Katera's everywhere. We're gonna keep an eye on this project and I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know the results when I reach out to the general contractor to see if I can submit a bid. And if I got time, I'd do a number. My construction entrepreneurs, hustle hard, then hustle harder. Catch you on the next one.